Hey everyone! In this video we revisit some fast food menu items that had enormous popularity with restaurant customers, but were then discontinued, leaving many to longingly recall the good old days when they could walk into or drive up to their favorite restaurant and order these fast food classics. Listed in no particular order of popularity, let's peer into the past and take a look at these bygone menu item favorites. Burger King BK Broiler the BK Broiler was a hugely popular broiled chicken sandwich served with a dill ranch mayonnaise sauce and sold between 1990 and 2002. Shortly after the sandwich launch in 2002, Burger King was selling 1 million BK Broilers per day. The sandwich was eventually updated with modified ingredients and a name change to the Chicken Whopper. By that point though, it was not the original BK Broiler that is so sadly missed by so many folks today. Burger King seems to change its chicken sandwich names and ingredients so often that it's difficult to keep up with what is currently on the menu and those delicious relics from the past. Subway Roast Beef Sandwich Just where is the beef? Apparently, not at Subway anymore. The item is one of the more recent ones to get carved off the menu, leaving many disappointed roast beef sandwich lovers asking for direction to the nearest Arby's. Not only did the roast beef sandwich get the axe, but roast beef as a meat choice for any Subway product was also eliminated. Subway gave no reason for the heave-ho, creating space for speculation and conjecture that the ingredient just became too expensive to purchase for the restaurant chain. They did offer hope that other exciting menu items would be added in the future, but declined to state what these might be exactly. McDonald's Arch Deluxe if you were feeling fancy in the 1990s, but not too fancy and wanted a burger, you could get yourself to a McDonald's and order an Arch Deluxe instead of the more common Big Mac. This sandwich was the flagship offering in McDonald's Deluxe sub-brand. It debuted in 1996 and consisted of a quarter pound beef patty on a potato flour sesame seed bun with toppings that included peppered bacon and a mustard and mayonnaise sauce. It had its fans and was tasty but in the end it turned out to be a fancy mistake that cost McDonald's around $100 million in its advertising campaign, with the burger chain discontinuing it in 2000. Burger King Mac and Cheetos This neon orange colored snack food injected with pasta and cheese followed an industry trend to create hybrid food mashup products. If you like both of the products separately, you must like both of the products combined together, probably. Many people did, and these weird Cheeto-crusted nuggets of goo were quite popular. Some food critics commented unequivocally that the snack food was not good, but also not totally awful, which loosely translates from weasel to English as meh. Introduced in 2016 for a limited time, Burger King stopped selling these at their store locations in 2017, but you can still find them in supermarkets and convenience stores. Pizza Hut Bigfoot Pizza Measuring 12 inches by 24 inches for a total area of 2 square feet and costing only $10.99, this monster pizza debuted in 1993 and was quite a value, even back then. Pizza Hut spent millions of dollars to promote the deal that included a Bigfoot pizza branded blimp that crashed into a Manhattan apartment building. This 1993 commercial for the gigantic pizza featured a young Haley Joel Osment right around the same time that he appeared as a young Forrest Gump in the movie of the same name. Customer demand for the pizza was intense, and the Bigfoot remained on the menu for a few years until it was pulled and disappeared just like the cryptid creature that inspired its namesake. Taco Bell – Mexican Pizza This Taco Bell favorite got deleted from its menu in November of 2020 leaving a lot of Mexican pizza devotees wondering what could possibly fill the void left by the departure of their favorite food. The layered flour tortilla creation featured refried beans, seasoned ground beef, cheese, tomatoes, onions, and red sauce. All may not be lost though, as demands and pressure from Mexican pizza fans to bring the menu item back have intensified, with Taco Bell responding that there is always a chance that the beloved dish might return. So sit tight, Mexican pizza fans. There still might be a menu return miracle in your fast food future. Wendy's Super Bar. In the 1980s and 1990s, 
Wendy's offered a limited item self-serve buffet with salad fixings, pasta, and Tex-Mex items and called it the Super Bar. Customers could create traditional style salads or exercise their food creativity freedom and construct plates of food with an almost limitless number of item combinations. Who doesn't love corn chips, rotini, bacon bits, and steamed broccoli plonked onto a nice bed of lettuce? It was very successful, but Wendy's employees found it tedious to keep it cleaned and stocked, and the Super Bar was soon banished to the realm of fond distant memories for those food self-assembly super fans in the late 1990s. Taco Bell, Enchirito. Here's another one from Taco Bell that still has some people fondly remembering the time when this item used to be on the menu. It was a burrito enchilada hybrid covered in red sauce, shredded cheese, and exactly three olives on top served in an oven reheatable tin. It was a delicious end to many late nights and disappeared off the menu in 2013 as an official item. But savvy Taco Bellers can still get an approximation of the enchirito by ordering the smothered burrito and replacing the sour cream and sauce with onions and red sauce. McDonald's Original Apple Pie Obsessive fans of the original apple pie swear that nothing was as good as the deep fried version and that the texture created by the deep frying process created bubble pastry on the outside that had a unique crispiness and mouthfeel. In 1992, McDonald's transitioned the pies from a deep fried to a bake process in an attempt to make them slightly healthier and left millions of pie fans jonesing for the OG version of this sweet afterburger treat. McDonald's changed the pie formulation again in 2018 with a modern makeover that was again even slightly more healthier than the 1992 version. Apparently one can still find deep fried apple pies at some locations if you reside in or wish to travel to the UK, Japan, or Russia. McDonald's McRib This third McDonald's entry on our list is the well-known McRib sandwich. Technically it never went away, but has been relegated to occasionally appearing in autumn on the menu as a limited time offer, leaving some McRib enthusiasts peeve about its scarcity. First appearing in 1981, the process to formulate the delicious sandwich was developed by meat scientists at a U.S. Army food research center and falls under the category of structured meat. Although McDonald's doesn't give an exact reason for it not being a regular menu item, it has been theorized that McDonald's only makes it available when pork prices are favorable, but you can find it on the menu full-time in Germany and Luxembourg. Well, that's it for 10 discontinued, sadly missed fast food menu items. There are tons more that we didn't cover, as restaurants change up their menus fairly regularly for business strategy reasons. So remember, as a former member of the Beatles once said, all things must pass, get them while they're hot, supplies are limited. <laughs>